So if you are starting to create a website on WordPress's default theme, which is 2016, well, it is at the moment, next year it'll probably be 2017, um, you might find that some of the options that are available to you in premium themes or in fact any other theme are not quite as straightforward. So this is a homepage that a client of mine is putting together. So it's in draft format at the moment. And he just had a question about how to remove that wording which says home page because he set this 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 home page up as his front page on his WordPress website, but he doesn't know how to remove this home page text. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's not totally straightforward because in in the 2016 and indeed in some of the other more basic themes, you don't have an option to control this area of the site. So in WordPress and in any website, there is something called CSS. It stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And it's, it controls a lot of the styling of the elements in a theme and on a page generally. And you don't need to get too tied up about that, but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create some custom CSS to control this element here and hide it, basically. We're just gonna take it away so that it's not displayed anymore. So I'm just gonna go into the dashboard of this um, website and I'm gonna um, I'm going to add a new plugin that's going to make it really straightforward for us to do this. So I'm going to click on plugins, add new. And once I'm in here, I'm going to search for custom, oh, simple custom CSS it's called. That's what I'm after. I'm just going to hit return and it will load it for us. And here we are. This is the one that we're after. I'm going to hit install now. And once it's installed, it's going to ask if we'd like to activate it. So I'm going to hit activate, which is going to activate this plugin. And once it's activated, it takes me to the installed plugin area of the website. And down here, I can see this is now active. I know it's active because it gives me the option to deactivate it. And within this area, it gives me the option to add CSS. Now, the other area where you can um, add the CSS from is under appearance. You'll now see that you have a custom CSS area which you didn't have previously. So I'm just gonna click on add CSS and I'm gonna hop over, oh, I've already included this, but this was, um, this is some code that you don't need to worry about um, because you can copy and paste it. So I will copy and paste this code underneath this video so that if ever you're needing to do this, you literally just copy and paste it. But just to explain what it is, this grayed out text here is what I call a comment. And so this isn't the code at all. This is just telling me that if I start creating a lot of samples, uh, custom CSS, then I know what's controlling what. So in here, I'm saying removes page. I'm going to put page titles. And um, I'm not going to go too much into the syntax of this, but this area here is what is it's being controlled. So on the pages, we're controlling what's called the entry title. And around these curly brackets, inside the curly brackets, we have the actual style that we're wanting to display. And this is, we're wanting to, we're not wanting the heading, the header title or what's called the entry title to be displayed. So we're putting display none. Now there's a very specific syntax that you use in CSS. You don't need to worry about it. Like I say, it's not something that you're gonna to need to actually logically think out and create yourself because you will be able to copy and paste it. But I just wanted to show you that this is an area, if you're needing to put in some custom CSS at all, this is how you would do it. So I'm just gonna hit update custom CSS. And then when I go back to the page now, so we're back on this home page, I'm gonna hit refresh on the page and we'll see that that homepage title disappears. Now the downside of this is that once you create it for this page, then if you have other pages, um, it will also disappear from here. And you may not have wanted that. You may have wanted things like this advertising rates to remain as a title. So a little workaround for that is to go to your pages, 
and I'm going to click on this advertising rates to bring it open so that I can edit it. And in here, I'm going to actually add the title, advertising rates. And you can see that all of the text in here is what we call paragraph text. Now, if you're not seeing this line along the bottom, it's because you probably have your toolbar toggled off. So toggle it back on just by clicking this here. So this toggles it off and on again. So I'm going to highlight the area that I want this to become a heading now. And I'm going to click on heading one. And then once you've made the updates, don't forget to hit update. Now, if you're confused by the difference between publish and update, um, update is when you already have a page that's been published and you're just making an amendment to it. If you're creating a new page, then this blue blue button here will say publish on it. So now we have advertising rates. So I'm going to just click over here and hit refresh on the advertising rates page. And you can see that now that heading is included on that page. So you can do that for any other pages that you're wanting. Now, let's just go back and just check that everything's in order. And I, that's all that you need to know about removing page titles from pages using a little bit of custom CSS.